Hey everybody, Bob Dusselier back for another edition of What Did Bob Buy? I apologize, last week we were very busy around here and had more important things to do than film one of my stupid videos. But this week we are back, we're highlighting some very cool smaller collectibles. You may have noticed on the website here recently that there is a plethora, I think that's the correct terminology, of 143rd scale collectibles. Uh, these that I have picked for the video this week um, are made by Universal Hobbies. They are the Eagle Collectibles. A lot of you are familiar with these 143rd scale cars, but a lot of you 118 scale guys that have collected the Universal Hobbies, uh, which make the Eagle Collectibles uh, series, they do the same thing in 143rd, and they're just as detailed and just as cool as the larger scale models. And actually, as we've gotten more of these 143rd scale items in, I I'm kind of rethinking collecting 118s. I wish I would have gone back and done the 143s because they're just as detailed and you can fit a lot more of them in a smaller space. But I wanted to kind of highlight this scale because you're seeing a lot of it uh, right now on GoMotorBids.com and probably through the first of the year. Um, but I've selected basically some Porsches to uh, talk about here. And first, uh, the first one featured here is the Porsche Carrera RSR. And this is from the 100 kilometers of Nuremberg in 1974. You'll see there it's the number 56. And what's cool with these Eagle collectibles is you'll see the Universal Hobbies Eagles race, kind of a, it's kind of a, I don't know, what, I wouldn't call it like a medallion, but it's like a little kind of pop-up logo on the display base. And then there's also a mirror behind it to where when you look at the car, you see the car's reflection due to the mirror. It's just actually a pretty cool, you know, if you get this car and you open it up, uh, which I'll do here, um, and you just slide it out. It, I mean, it's ready for display. Look at that. I mean, pull it out. You can just set it right on your desk, shelf, whatnot, and it is ready for display. So very, very cool. Little detailed Porsche made by Universal Hobbies there. Uh, the next one I'm kind of featuring here, and I won't pull them all out, but you'll see here, this is the 24 Hours of Le Mans from 1975. The uh, number 65 Carrera RSR is right there. Um, and I'm trying to go in uh, chronological order here. Uh, next we go to the Le Mans of 1977, the number 58, and that is Bob Wallach. You'll see right there another Porsche, that's actually a Porsche 934 Turbo right there. Uh, next we have, yes, 1978. Uh, this is the Monte Carlo Rally winner right here. Um, the Nicholas and Laverne, and it is the number three, I believe, and it is a Porsche 911 SC3L, so you'll see that there. And last but not least, the 1979 Le Mans Porsche 934 Turbo, right there, number 84. Uh, this is actually probably my favorite out of all of them. I like kind of that gray and the yellow and the black. Looks really nice. Um, and once again, just to refresh your memory, when they're out of the packaging, you know, here's the packaging or whatnot, um, you know, and it looks like these retailed, uh, oh, I don't know, I guess I was wrong, it doesn't have the retail, but once again, when you have them out displayed, they look like this. So some very cool 143rd scale items that will be up for bid very shortly among other 143rd scale items on GoMotorBids.com. So now I'm just rambling, I apologize, and I just hit my wall with my elbow. So I'm done for this video, so check these out. As always, one of these will have a $25 What Did Bob Buy gift certificate. Uh, so if you're the lucky bidder of one of these, you're going to get a $25 What Did Bob Buy gift certificate. So until next time, this has been What Did Bob Buy right here on GoMotorBids.com. Have a good rest of the week and a good weekend. Talk to you later.